Welcome to our lecture today, where we'll be talking about aortic valve stenosis. Aortic valve, as we know, normally it has three leaflets. And those leaflets open during systole and close during diastole. With age, those leaflets become calcified. And when they become calcified, during systole, there will be impairment of opening and once this happens there will be less blood flow going to the rest of the body this stenosis can be graded as mild moderate or severe mild and moderate usually are asymptomatic and we don't usually do anything to um, those severities while severe aortic stenosis it's when the patient would come in with certain symptoms and then you will have to act on it the symptoms that the patients usually talk about are either syncope angina and dyspnea and in dyspnea we mean that the patient has went into heart failure and those usually happen this way and this shows that the patient at this level has the poor prognosis to say if the valve is stenotic or not we have to calculate its area by using echocardiography and if it's between 1.5 to 2 centimeter square this is what we call mild 1 to 1.5 this is what we call moderate and less than 1 we call it severe if it's less than 0.7 this is what we call critically severe those patients who have less than 0.7 centimeter squared of area are at a high risk of sudden cardiac death and even if they're asymptomatic you must send them to replace their valve normally as we said the valve has three leaflets but there are certain people who are born with only two leaflets this is what we call a bicuspid valve and those valves usually get sick early on so for example by the age they're 50 or so they will become calcified and and you will see that they might become stenotic at an earlier age than the usual population how can we treat aortic valve stenosis as we said if the patient has severe aortic stenosis you refer them for surgery nowadays we have two options one option is the SAVR, which is the surgical aortic valve replacement, and the other one is TAVR. TAVR stands for transcatheter aortic valve replacement, which is done through catheterization. While the SAVR is basically open heart surgery. And then you have to know that for each patient, you have to ask yourself, what kind of a valve do I want to put in my patient? Is it going to be a bioprosthetic or is it going to be mechanical? So you have to ask yourself, can the patient be on blood thinners? And how long is my patient going to survive for? So if my patient is going to survive for 10 years or so, I will put a bioprosthetic. Bioprosthetic does not need blood thinners. While mechanical lives more than 10 years. But you will need to be on warfarin for anticoagulation. Otherwise, your patient will have valve thrombosis and then thromboembolism. And this is an overview 
of aortic valve stenosis. If you have enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like it, share it with your colleagues, and subscribe to our channel.